Hey, what's going on? It's Monday, April 22. So, like I said last week, Caitlin Clark has been drafted by the Indiana Fever with an estimated about $76,000 in her first year as a professional WNBA player. Okay, um, O'Hare Airport. There was a protest last week and it caused backups for the surrounding expressways. That's a good way to get people on your side. Protest and cause a traffic jam so that they're late to their destinations. That's got to be embarrassing. Oh, hey, another thing that's embarrassing is Iran shot 300 missiles at Israel and virtually everything was shot down with almost no damage whatsoever. Uh, what were you thinking, Iran and Israel? Wow, good for you. Anyway, let's get to today's topic. Okay, let me tell you a story that happened last week. I got a phone call from a uh, telemarketer wanting to sell me a $25,000 life insurance policy. And he was telling me it's a great, great policy. It'll pay for funeral bills. It'll pay all my beneficiaries' expenses, leave money for my heirs, and uh, it will even, you know, hand wash my car. No! So I asked him, I said, well, you're going to sell a $25,000 policy. Why don't we do the seven-step needs analysis? What's a needs analysis? I said, a needs analysis to determine just how much life insurance I am going to need. And don't you want to do that? No, $25,000 is enough money for anybody. Well, I don't know about you, but $25,000 is not a whole lot of money. So as I've said in the past, maybe this poor guy was a, um, working for a non-registered, non-licensed, uninsured, offshore business, just peddling like snake oil sales, one specific fit all situations policy. So let's talk about like a needs analysis for um, health insurance. If you have a lot of savings, maybe you can tolerate a much higher deductible with a lower premium. If you have no savings, maybe you can't tolerate that higher deductible and you need to have a lower deductible and unfortunately the premium's going up. Or maybe you have a really good income and you can afford a lower um, deductible or with that really good income you can save money to allow for a higher deductible. So these are things that are important to you and a needs analysis will help bring that out. What about prescription drugs? Do you need a plan that has a good prescription drug benefit because you're on a lot of prescription drugs? Or maybe you're perfectly healthy and you don't need to have such a robust prescription drug benefit on your health insurance. Very good questions that come out in doing a needs analysis. If you're an employer, a needs analysis can be, wow, what if you're a male-based business, all males with very few dependents, versus a female-based business with very few dependents? That can make a difference in the um, type of insurance you're going to buy. What if you have a lot of families? What if these families have a lot of young children who need to have braces? That comes out in a needs analysis. Also comes out in a needs analysis for business. Do you need life insurance? Do you need short-term disability? Who's going to pay that premium? Is it a combination of the employer or the employee? And if so, then maybe that short-term disability is very important if the employee is going to be paying a good portion of their premium. You want to make sure that if they are off of work for a disability for a while, that that premium can still be paid. Disability is very important there. And what about a needs analysis for senior citizens? Oh, come on, Mark, we're going on Medicare. What do we care? Well, actually, it's very important because they're what we call do complete plans where people are on both Medicare and Medicaid. There's chronic needs plans for people who have chronic conditions that need management. Uh, these are Medicare Advantage plans. And then there's just a straight Medicare Advantage plan. A needs analysis will determine if Medicare Advantage is right for you and which type of plan is in your best interest. Oh, and there's Medicare supplements. A needs analysis will determine if a Medicare supplement with a standalone separate drug card is right for you. So in a needs analysis, we'll find out, are you traveling? Do you have kids in various locations that the Medicare Advantage plan won't cover because it's not in those territories? And you're 
may be visiting for a month or longer. A needs analysis will also determine, you know, what type of savings you have. Maybe if you've got really good savings, you like the Medicare Advantage plans with higher out-of-pockets. Maybe you want a high deductible Medicare supplement. These are questions that come out when doing a proper needs analysis. It's not one product fits all for everybody. Hey, so are these telemarketers selling legitimate products? Those products in and of themselves are legitimate products. But do you need an Abrams tank to go to the grocery store, to go to the hardware store, to go to the movies, to hit the mall, to pick the kids up at school, to make a trip across country? Well, you know what? Maybe you do if you're trying to get somewhere and there's a protest at O'Hare. You can just blow the cars out of your way. Anyway, uh, a good insurance agent is going to do a needs analysis to make sure that you're buying what is in your best interest. So hey Mark, what's going on at the MLD agency? Well last week we actually had a very busy week. We picked up seven new clients. Thank you for your referrals, um, for those who've given referrals to us, and thank you for those who have become new clients of the MLD agency. We look forward to a long, uh, successful relationship with you. Anyway, until next week, you take care.